Hello, welcome to another video. Recently I've been getting lots of ads for a new Harry Potter game, Magic Awakened. At first I really just got like animations of the characters and not any footage of the game, so I wasn't that interested in it. I thought the art looked unique and cool but didn't have any interest in actually playing it. But then I saw Patan Patan's video on the game where he showed off some gameplay and I thought the gameplay actually looked pretty cool. You can use cards to play spells or call monsters to attack for you, which I kind of like that game mechanic. I think it's really fun to mess with. There are also some mini games I found, one of them being a rhythm game, which is pretty cool. I love when games have little rhythm games uh, since I really enjoy them, especially games like Cyrus or Mustache. Since this game is made for mobile, I'd say the rhythm game was kind of like Cyrus and so far the actual rhythm game mechanic seems pretty simple but overall still fun. I also enjoy the doing club since it lets you use a cool card mechanic whenever you want instead of having to wait for the game specifically calls for it which is pretty nice. I'm not too far into the game yet so there may be more mini games scattered around that I've yet to see. So far I've met what I'm pretty sure is the main cast for the story. There are quite a few characters, I'm not sure who my favorite is yet, I just got Ivy back in the game so I'll have to see more about her before I can kind of say who my favorite character would be. As someone who is a game developer, I have a degree in game programming, it can be cool to see new games and think about the developing process or spot things that most people wouldn't. For a mobile game, it's nice, there's definitely some bugs and animations that, we, that weren't always super smooth, but I'm assuming the budget probably wasn't huge. One funny moment was when they were standing on the stairs that uh, rotate about. You could see the characters rotating, but the stairs weren't rotating with the characters. I thought that was kind of funny. The game is a gotcha game like lots of other games, but instead of pulling for characters, you mainly pull for new spells. So far, it seems like it's more fair than other games like Kenshin and Honkai Star Rail since every 30 pulls you're guaranteed a nice card rather than having to pull maybe like 90 cards. But I haven't played long enough to see how easy it is to get keys once you put more uh, time into the game. It does start asking you to buy bundles by showing them off pretty early on, which is kind of annoying, but I kind of also understand that it's kind of just industry standard for mobile games at this point. They're easy to ignore, so it's not like it's super annoying. One thing that I actually do like about the bundles is it seems like you can call companions as cards. It's one of the mechanics for the dueling system. And it seems like instead of having to pull for the characters, you can just buy a bundle that comes with the character card, among other things. So I guess in a way I kind of prefer that rather than having to pull for specific characters. I haven't paid for it, I don't think I'll ever really pay for it. But I don't know, I feel like I kind of maybe prefer that over having to pull a lot, only to hope that you're going to get the character you want. I already have a nice deck I think. I'm not attached to any of the characters yet, so like I said, I haven't spent any money on the game yet, I haven't really felt any need to. Overall I think the game is nice, I play it uh, between doing stuff so I think it can be kind of like a little fun little filler game during your day. For the actual character, they had a simple character creator. The main things to adjust are the hair and eyes. I wasn't sure what kind of color scheme I wanted to go with, I choose silver hair pretty often, but since I do that often I didn't want to do that here. I knew he was going to be Slytherin, so that's the house I always choose. So I kind of kept that green color scheme for Slytherin in mind when choosing his colors. There was a nice green color option for the hair, but in the end I decided to go with purple and a more dark blue purple eyes. In the drawing I made his eyebrows purple, but in the game they have different colors for the eyebrows and the hair color, so not all of the hair colors are available as eyebrow colors, which I thought was kind of weird. I decided to give my character some glasses and now I realize he kind of just looks like me, which was unintentional, but as I was finishing up I realized we look really similar and now whenever I play a game I just think that and like it's kind of weird. But anyways, I took screenshots I had for taken references and added them to the background. I saw Patan Patan do this in his video and I thought that was a cool idea. I was going to make a Spiderfish video today, but they take me so much longer for some reason compared to other videos, so I'll aim to get it up by Wednesday if not by Friday. So if you guys think that that video sounds interesting, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.